ON4 UN is not known to be the most uncritical reviewer of simple wire antennas. A couple of paragraphs in his book led me to experiment with possibly the simplest directional wire antenna there is. It comprises a quarter wavelength vertical and a single horizontal radial. Apparently that antenna, which is a ground plane with all but one radials chopped off, is actually directive in the direction of the horizontal radial. Or more accurately, it attenuates signals coming from directions other than the radial. Anyway, we're at the beach and we're going to give it a try. These are the two Y radials. I'll have switches so you can switch none, one or both of them. A quarter wavelength vertical and two horizontal radials about 80 centimetres to a metre above ground. They're just supported by wooden doweling. This is none. This is one. This is in about a southerly direction and there's clearly a difference here. We'll try the northern radial. There's a small difference. Possibly not quite as big as the difference with the southern radial. And at this time of day, as it's morning, the signal is probably coming through the long path, which is in that direction. From this crude test, I couldn't get a conclusive result. This may mean that in real world conditions, where grounds are not ideal and antennas are not in free space, some of the subtleties are not worth bothering with. Especially for QRP operating, it's better to have a simple antenna system that has few inherent losses. Avoiding things like switches is a good idea, and in the case of an antenna like this, inverting it so that the maximum current is right at the top rather than at the bottom, such as in the half square antenna which I've recently described, is probably a good idea as well.